And here we are at Harbour Park, home of the North Fork Tides. Um, this is the first episode, the pilot episode, of a possible series that um, I go to many different minor league baseball and other sports, maybe, if the series takes off. Um, so this is Harbour Park of North Fork Tides. They're currently the AAA affiliate of the Baltimore Orioles. So let's get inside and we'll see what else they have in store for us. So, when this stadium was built they were, in the 90s, it was uh, the North Fork Tides, but back then they were the Tidewater Tides. They were the Mets affiliated thing. So, Mike, Shea Stadium, when this was built, did they have Shea Stadium look anything like this? Yeah, they had the uh, bullpens out in the outfield, um, the giant scoreboard in right center. Um, you know, it's the multi-level stadium, um, but I also see some uh, similarities to uh, Camden Yards. There's clearly no office building out in the outfield, right? Yep. So, the... Um, it's mainly from the outside that I see the similarities okay. with the, you know, the stadium going above the outside part. The spring training facilities, yep. like if you go to George Steinbrenner Field in Tampa, where the Yankees train, they have the facade on the stadiums, and then if you go to where the Red Sox play, you have the, a different version of the Green Monster. Correct. So that's that's what it is. All right. So Mike, so you ready for some baseball today? Let's bring it on. All right, play ball. This is by far one of the nicest arenas you're going to go yeah. to. So, yeah. cool. uh, if anything, it's a it's a nice place to come and yeah. watch a game. So we'll both enjoy baseball, but you just brought it up just now. I'm one, um, so want to add to it. Yes. Do you think the was it three years ago now when Major League Baseball got rid of some minor league teams? Did that affect your life or friends' lives or? No. 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 These these guys were here, so. No, yeah, they were here, so yeah. no, it didn't affect us. But there was like I will say like when there was a time where the Mets didn't know if they were going to be here and we didn't know who was going to come in because that was probably all like backdoor politics or whatever okay. it was. Um, there was a little trepidation. There was some trepidation here, I want to say like last year when um, they didn't know if they were they were signing. Norfolk was going to sign uh, Norfolk to like a one-year contract or they, the contract that ended with the city. So there was, I, to me, I thought there was some issue that maybe the, t the tides would leave at some point. So, but they're here now. For oh, yeah. So as a a fan of a minor league team in the area, is that always a fear that the team say, all right, we're, we're leaving I, and then? I don't. If they do, they do. If they don't. Well, we'll yeah. enjoy the baseball game yeah, now. Thank you. Right. Right. I'm here with Steve. Um, he's a Woo Sox fan. So um, you, you traveled here from from Massachusetts? We went to Myr Myrtle Beach. Oh, Myrtle. On the way home to Massachusetts, we stopped by. All right. So. You're clearly a Red Sox fan, a Boston Red Sox fan. Season tickets. Season tickets for the Red Sox. Um, have you come? Have, have you came to many minor league stadiums? Would you say or uh, three or four? Three or four. All right. Except for my my own. Yeah. So um, I, I was. Uh, I've worked in them. Oh, you worked in them. So I, at, I'm a, I was a high school college umpire. Oh, you are. Right. I, I still I still play men's ball. We got knocked out of the second round of the playoffs, so I don't want to talk about that part. But the um, have you been down to the Red Sox spring training facilities? The old one. Oh, right. yep. So not the one in Fort Myers. All right. So I'll, I'll ask about that. So before I'm, I'm old, I've been around. No, it's, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> um, my belief is that if you're in the minor league system, you should really start training and like getting used to the Major League Baseball stadium for your team. So now, if you go down to the spring training facilities, as a Yankee fan, at George Steinbrenner Field, it has a facade around, the dimensions are similar to Yankee Stadium. The new Red Sox Stadium has a, a fake green monster. Right. Um, how does this compare to 
well, this is Orioles now affiliate, but how, I haven't been to Camden Yards, but how, how would you say this compares? It's the second best park. It, this one, this oh, one's. Yeah, Camden Yards. Yeah, yeah. So, um, would you say, you're yeah, awesome. Awesome. Best park was built by Larry Lucchino, who just yeah. passed away. Okay. He built all the park in Worcester. All right. He built San Diego's park. Yeah. Which is it's a good one. Like, maybe clear in the line. Yeah. Camden Yards is second in line. Uh, I'd have to think to, to really understand this. So, and so, Fenway is not number one in my book. No, I mean, I, I, I passed by Fenway. And the wife at the top, uh, she's still the wife, but when we passed it, she's like, you want to go to a game? So I was like, I was like, well, all I have is Yankee stuff on, and the Yankees aren't playing. I, I might, I might get uh, roughed up in, 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 in the stadium. Um, no, but the day of the game, you could, yeah. Yeah, but, but the Yankees weren't playing that day, so, so I was like, nobody, yeah. Nobody came. <laughs> nobody came. Um, just one thing. Um, I, I, I saw the series now, This is, like I said, the pilot series. So you're one of the first interview ease. Um, my plan, though, is to, and, you know, you know, I know how long you've been married. I'm mar married four years. So okay, so, so, my my plan to start the series is that I could say, all right, we'll, we'll drive up to my wife. I'll say we'll drive up to Connecticut, Massachusetts. We'll go to the wine country. We'll see the leaves if it's fall. You know, yep. if it's fall, we'll see the leaves changing. And then um, while she, you know, I'll take her to the wine countries. All, all the all the wine over. Exactly, and then we'll see minor league baseball games. So, you know, he, you know he, all the minor yeah. league. Well, I, I'll look Hartford. him up. Yeah, the, it, it, it was the yard goats, and then so I'll plan that out that way. He's not as head of it's a good idea. So just earlier you said that you were an umpire. Yeah. Um, oh, Forty-seven years. Forty-seven years of umpire. Um, I, uh, well, me and my co-host come from Long Island, and we have the Long Island Ducks, an independent ball. And I've been to a few games this year and last year. Didn't seem they were using the automatic strike call system. I don't know if they got rid of it in the, in the Atlantic League, um, but but now they're talking the minor leagues of the they use it now. So what's your feelings as first as a home plate umpire and then just as an, an umpire in general? I think I think for the minor leaguers it's great, but it's really great in the big leagues because the big leagues work the plate one day a week. Yeah. Occasionally two. Yeah. Then they go in third, second, first, day off the travel. All right? You, the lower you are in, when it's only a two-man system, you work in a plate every other day. Uh, you've got it down. Okay? When you're up in the big leagues, you lose your strikes. Yeah. Well, I, I see all the pressure, too, of like, you know, I like I said, I still play yeah. baseball, but not, not this level. But There's no pressure after you've been in 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> You know what you're doing by then, yeah, right. or or you know the um, or, or you know the managers who will give you a hard time. It's like right. just keep walking. But <laughs> I love it uh, in lower levels. Yeah. So. And you know I'd like to see it in the big leagues because you can get rid of some of these stiffs. But the union is <laughs> tough. Uh, you gotta go to the union first. Uh, so I'll let you enjoy okay. the baseball. I want to enjoy the baseball. So Stephen, it's good. Nice talking with you. you too. All right, thank you. I got. I got my Oh, snap. They're selling baseball cards. Yeah. They're only like That's not allowed. Bucks a pack or something. Is it? Yeah, and they, they took our our coupons. Ooh. Some local Norfolk people. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Norfolk people. Got it. Norfolk? All right. All right. All right. So, I'm from Long Island, New York. No um, way. No way. You can tell yeah, so exactly. I'll be there Friday. Oh, really? What thinks about... You know, this stadium is like Camden Yards or, well, you know, Camden Yards first. There is nothing about this stadium that's like Camden Yards at all. So Camden Yards is amazing. Not that this is not for, for what it is, but there's there's no comparison to Camden yeah. Yards. I mean, the reason, I will tell you this, there's a, a very small crowd here tonight. And when there is a, this place is packed, half the people in here are supporting the Orioles. Okay. Um, you will see these colors. Um, we do it just, I mean, we love them, but it, like the beginning of the season, things are going crazy, Orioles are doing good, Tides are doing good, you'll see it, you'll see way more of those colors being supported. So, so originally this, uh, this franchise started with the Montreal Expos back in the day. So that's where they were first affiliated. 
and then they went to New York Mets, and now uh, Baltimore Orioles franchise. So I was going to ask about the Mets. So this stadium was built in the 90s, right? Am I mistaken? Or Well, it was moved here. It was another stadium in a different location, and they came over here. So back in the, back in the early 90s, it was affiliated with the Mets. Yep. So, like I said, Nick, but the, uh, anything like this with, like, Shea Stadium, like, is it, does it look anything like Shea Stadium? The only thing with Shea Stadium would be the, the backdrop in center field. And then, um, just when did they switch over to the Norfolk Tides? It was when they changed their affiliation and became, you know, kind of affiliated yeah. with uh, Orioles. the Orioles. Yeah, when they changed colors. Yeah. So. I actually still have a Tide shirt that's, that's just like that. So, would you say that people in the area, like, like I said, like I'm from Long Island, we have, it, it takes still an hour to get to Yankee Stadium or with bad traffic it takes to get to Queens. Um, do people change affiliation based on the team, the major league of team? I have to speak on this. Uh, so, I am originally from Durham, North Carolina, okay. where the Durham Bulls play. I've been there. And I worked for that team for a few years. Um, and when we first moved here to Norfolk, we would come to the games and I would sit in bowl for the Durham Bulls. <laughs> I, because that's what that was my team and that's what I knew and in my mind at that time is I wasn't staying here, that's where I was going back to. <laughs> yeah. And I will tell you, even to this day when I come, I mean I'm a way bigger supporter of the Orioles than I am of Tampa Bay, which is why I don't really push for Durham anymore because I'm not a Tampa Bay fan. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I support the Tides now just because that's my, this is my neighborhood, this is, like, we have to support our, support our community, and as long as they're affiliated with the Orioles, I don't care who's affiliated, I'm going to pull for them. Hands yeah. down. Yeah, that's fine. No offense to Durham, don't that's get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people love to come here because we don't have any professional sports teams, yeah. right. so if we can come here and hang out and watch baseball, whether it be whoever's playing, yeah. we will always come out and support. Yeah. And I was like, the prices of, like, how, how price of food, beer, compared to a major league ballpark? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty it's much on point. Comparable. Yeah, it's yeah. on point. Yeah. I mean, we'll spend time here during the week and go up to Baltimore. It's only three and a half hours. Yeah. So we'll see, sometimes we see the same players. Yeah. You know, but, you know, they've got a niche on their food up there. Yeah. And, like, uh, the, the pit beef we don't have down yeah. here. But, you know, everywhere you go is something different. Yeah. The food's good. She just had the nachos. And, so I also noticed that, like, the... In this area, um, it's a lot of the Orioles have a lot of affiliation of different teams in the area. So, like the Mets, a, a few years ago, well, they corrected their problem with their AAA team was only in Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah, and then it went down to Port St. Lucie. Yeah, so uh, so it's slightly closer, and like yeah. if you, so, I was just um, I was in the Delmarva Peninsula just last week. Nice. So the Orioles have what their single A and double A team right there also, yeah. and that's not too far away from me. So. Do you guys get a more sense of community of like we're all Orioles here, or? That's really hard to say. I mean, I mean we're not all Orioles fans. They're not. Well, 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 no, no. But, but I mean, like, 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 do you guys like keep out like a, a, a ear or an eye out for like how the other affiliations are doing because they're so close, also, or not? I, I, I don't. Do you? No. I don't. I mean, I mean, but I know that we. Uh, watch this team, and when somebody from here gets called at the majors, yeah. we follow them on the MLB level. Oh, sure. Because yeah. Yeah, they're a local person. Yeah. Once they hit here, you're doing all right. You know? yeah. And that's where we start seeing this. Yeah. Like I said, we're down here on a Wednesday, be up there on a Saturday, and you might see the same guy. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. the reverse. It's yeah. like, oh, shit, he got pulled down. <laughs> well, I saw that the pitcher Mayo, he didn't really have a good outing, but... I mean, he's been up and down, well, correct me if I'm wrong, he's been up and down recently, so. Well, Holiday didn't start out too good either. But and look at him now. He found he his back. He couldn't hit left it, left his left handed pitchers. <laughs> it was funny, uh, was it two years ago? He came for the um, businessman's game during the day. We were sitting down and practicing. And I look up and I said, that says Ripken. He's like, no, it doesn't. I said, that says Ripken. And it was Cal's son. Hey, yeah, Ryan. He, Can't go wrong. And he played, you know, and I'm like, oh my. God. And I'm watching him, the way he stands, like everything about him, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And he was here for a minute, <laughs> and he was or, gone. Or a cup of coffee, was, as they say. But it was, it was kind of cool to see that, you yeah. know, like it, yeah. it was, it made you warm and fuzzy to yeah. see him here, 
explain, even though we didn't do that great. I'm, I mean, like, I miss that as, like, a New Yorker where I could just go to a Yankee game. I could yeah. just go to a Met game. And I, I kind of have that with the Long Island Ducks, where they're independent ball. I, yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know if... They, uh, they, Barnstormers and Ducks yeah. play each other, yeah. yeah. They're independent team, but the league is held at a high level. It's held, held at, like, a triple-A, double-A level, and the best players get plucked right out oh, yeah. of it. So, like, the Ducks are doing well this se- the second half of the season, but the first half of the season, all their best players are being plucked out. And their, their manager now is Lou Ford. I know he had only a short time with the Orioles, but Lou Ford is now the manager of the Ducks. So there's a connection there. So I was drawn to you guys, I think. So that's cool. Yeah. So you guys have anything? I mean, I know for us as military, why we love the Tides is being stationed here. We can't go home to see our teams when we're here. Yeah. So like I'm a Phillies fan, he's a Mets fan. It's just nice to come watch baseball. And it, for the price, you can't beat it. It's going to the Phillies or going to the Mets. Goodness. Hey. Yeah. That's a whole different ball game. Ah. <laughs> well, I, I thank you guys again. So enjoy the ball game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to my camera girl. So you can turn around there, Dylan, if you want. There's my camera girl. Thank you. So, Mike, what is your favorite sports ticket app? I would have to say Momento. Momento. And so, and what is Momento, Mike? It's a way to record all your uh, the games that you visit by entering in your seat information. Search North Norfolk Tides. I didn't know where to say it wrong. The locals have already uh, helped me out there. So as you see, it's one, two, three. You type no fork tides in. There they are. You click that. You go to today's game. Hey, hey, click on that. You add Memento. It's loading. And there you go. So you can also add your friends. So Mike, me and you are friends. So that's me. I, you clicked on the wrong one, Mike. It's all right. <laughs> Click on add, I believe. Tag. Tag. And it's as simple as that, people. You just tap your friends. You can connect your friends. You can also make fun of your friends for not having all the sporting events that you've been to. And uh, it keeps tabs of your home runs that you've watched in your life live and as well as other sports. So we're back at the hotel. Um, hope you guys had fun. Um, that was the pilot episode of what I hope to be a series. Um, I know it wasn't anything special, but it was like just a hobby of mine that I wanted to uh, some get done. Um, just to clear things up, um, if you're not familiar with it, or if uh, or you're not part of you know, if you don't live in America and you don't know how baseball works. Um, you heard me say that the uh, team that we saw today, the Norfolk Tides, is the AAA affiliate of the Baltimore Orioles. And in uh, baseball, there's uh, three main levels in the minor league system. And um, at the bottom, at the, the lower level, the rookie level, is the uh, single A. Then you have triple A. I'm sorry, then you have so single A, double A, and then you have triple A. Um, if the players do well in triple A, that's when they go to the uh, the big show in, in Major League Baseball. Um, so, like I said, today was the a AAA game between the, Oriole, the uh, Orioles affiliate and the uh, Red Sox, the Boston Red Sox affiliate. Um, so, like I said, I hope you guys had uh, fun watching. Uh, I will be doing some editing, so that, and I'll get this out as soon as possible. Um, I have a long uh, 
right back home tomorrow. So I'll start editing then. Um, so I want to give a uh, couple, sh uh, two shout outs to uh, some people that inspired me for this. So um, Alice in uh, from Away Days, um, he's a uh, English YouTuber. Um, he has a channel about mostly about soccer and uh, he goes to um, soccer games in England across Europe and across the world and um, one of his first videos that I watched of his was he was I think in Thailand and so yeah so like check out his channel it's Away Days Ellis and um, you know he was one of the people that inspired me to do this um, to me uh, it was just a passion for, for him what he's doing it's just a passion for him as well and he has been successful so I wish him continued luck in that um, Alice, I just want to say also that um, I now know how uh, how the feeling of being very um, nervous when you talk you know talk to people in your in your latest video that I watched uh, you were doing the hospitality and uh, I can see that you were getting a little flustered when things weren't going perfect and um, for me also that that happened also I got uh, had a great interview and um, there was a recording problem so. I was like, oh, so I lost that. It was a great interview, and by the time that uh, I realized that it did not record correctly, the game had started, and I did not want to uh, bother the person. I had a, I, I do have a snippet of his uh, interview, so he is it. So that that guy Andrew, you'll see when I interview Andrew, he he has a part. But it was such a great interview that a lot of it was lost. Um, the other thing that I want, uh, the, other, the other person I want to. Uh, think and who inspired me is also a English YouTuber uh, her channel is stunt peg and uh, she also does uh, soccer games mostly soccer and she's from the Manchester area if I'm not mistaken um, she is the person that if you watch her channel uh, she does she goes to stadiums and she talks about the history of the places but she's uh, does she'll interview people and so that's what gave me the um, inspiration to in, go go to these games and then interview people and for various topics so um, hopefully the series takes off and I will be interviewing more people about different things as well and um, you'll see me with uh, co-hosts with that um, different co-host um, and so I hope you guys have fun watching this video um, yeah so get back um, well, you'll see me hopefully in more videos um, I also want to thank my friend Chris. He, uh, about a month ago, we talked about this, uh, some of this thing, this series. So I will, the next video should, hopefully we'll have him in it on the early goes. We came up with this idea. So, all right, so I'll see you guys then. Bye.